everybody. Welcome to another episode of Big G Outdoors. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between the Samic Sage and the Samic Journey. Uh, the Journey is a 64 AMO and the Sage is a 62 AMO. That is actually the biggest difference. Um, it's pretty much the same bow except uh, the length of the limbs. The risers are almost identical. The, um, the look is the same. There's a couple minor differences we'll go over, but if you ever shot two different bows at two different lengths, you can tell there's a big difference in shooting. So uh, let's take a look. First, we have the Journey. The Journey, um, the riser, the handle's a little bit skinnier. Um, the riser itself, the finish, is a little bit more glossy. Uh, and like I said, um, the limbs are longer. So this Journey here is a 50 pound at 28. So at my 31 inch draw length, I'm shooting, you know, roughly about eight more pounds. So you're looking at about 58, 59. Um, I installed a fast flight Flemish twist string on both of them with Navajo puff balls. Uh, other than that, everything looks pretty much the same. The Journey does not have the Samic emblem on it. The Sage does. Um, and like I said, the riser finish is a little bit different on the Journey. It's a little bit more glossy. And uh, let's take a look at the Sage and see. The Sage has the emblem, like I said, the same Mick emblem. Um, the finish on the riser is a little bit more of a matte finish. And the handle itself is a little bit, feels a little thicker to me. I don't know, maybe not. But let's turn them both the same way. And you can see this is the Sage, this is the Journey. I mean, it even kind of looks a little bit thicker. But you can, it feels thicker in the hand. But, uh, the bows are really, really similar. Um, like I said, so if you bought a Sage and you have a long draw length and you're getting some stacking and um, a little bit of finger pinch from the string, you might want to check out a Journey. Or you can even just get Journey limbs and put it on your Sage riser because they're very, very, very similar. Um, so let's get to shooting them and uh, see if we notice any differences. All right. All right, so we're back here to about 15, 17 yards. First, we're going to shoot the Sage. Oh. The twig on my string. That's another thing. If you're in the middle of a shot, especially target shooting, don't shoot bad shots. If your arrow comes off the rest or you notice something, you get distracted by something, let it die, start again. Um, so anyway, first we're shooting the Sage. And uh, the Sage, like I said, is the shorter bow. So watch the tips. You're gonna have a, a greater angle up here, more obtuse angle. If it's uh, because you could be pulling back further, you'll get more stacking out of the limb because it's a little bit long, shorter of a bow. And also at the fingers, you'll get a little bit more of an acute angle of the string, a little bit more pinching. So. All right, now, 
the journey. Like I said, a little bit longer limbs, uh, not as much stacking at the top and bottom at full draw, and a little bit smoother because it's longer, and also not as much pressure on the fingers, not so much in an acute angle on the string. So, let's shoot three out of the journey. And uh, this is the bow I've been shooting lately, so I should be a little bit better. Then again, I'm gonna shoot three more out of this because that was that was me trying to rush things, not concentrating. See the difference? When you slow down, concentrate. Let's see if we can do it again. So there's the two bows. You got the Sage and the Journey. Ah, very similar. Say the uh, Journey's a little bit longer. So great beginner bows. Or even if you bought a Sage to start out with, and you're looking to step it up a little bit, you think that uh, you can, you know, you have a longer draw length. You need a little bit bigger of a bow. You could either buy a Journey. Or you could just get journey limbs and put them on your Sage Roger because they're just about identical. So, uh, all right, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time on Big G Outdoors. Thanks.